Good morrow, Stefan. It is whatever day it is when I post this, and today I weigh 183 pounds. We are supposed to be picking out one memory from each of the years from 2000 to 2009. I've decided to milk this for all it's worth and spend one video on each year. And today, we travel back in time to the year 2000. In June of 2000, I was promoted from junior high to high school. Whether it be moving from elementary school to junior high, junior high to high school, or high school to university, each of these events marked a substantial expansion of my worldview. In this instance, junior high to high school, the campus was much bigger, the course offerings more abundant and diverse, and my peers included people who were legally and physically adults. This situation often makes teens very nervous. The first day of high school is often portrayed as being quite a dreadful experience, but for me, it was not so much. I had signed up for my high school's cross-country team, and I had already been accepted into my high school's marching band. So that summer, before high school actually started, I had practice for both of those activities almost every single day. The cross-country team was of a moderate size, but the marching band was quite substantial. Thus, when the first day of school rolled around, I already knew many of my peers, and I had taken the time to ask some of the upperclassmen things like, which bathrooms on campus are best? What teachers should I really try to avoid? Where's the best place on campus to eat lunch? And so on. Basically, I was prepared. Rather than being an intimidating experience, this was one of opportunity. There were new people to meet. There was new knowledge to obtain. I think the year 2000 was when I first became aware that I had the ability to affect the outcome of my own life. I was making the transition from following the path that my parents and teachers had laid before me to choosing my own path. And it's not even that following the path set forth by your elders is necessarily bad. I think the transition is more analogous to learning how to spread your wings so that someday you'll be able to leave the nest. In non-2000 related news, a couple days ago on Twitter, I asked what everybody thought of the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America. I know the people who follow me on Twitter are a very narrow demographic, but I was nonetheless very interested in the results. The responses were almost universally negative, and many expressed their displeasure with the words under God that were inserted into the pledge in 1954. Not only this, but much of my, albeit limited, experience as an adult has led me to believe that my generation is much less outwardly patriotic than those who came before me. I'm interested in how you, Stefan, and the Noodles feel about this. Do you feel less patriotic than your parents or grandparents? Do you think patriotism is good, bad, or both in different ways? Can you be unpatriotic but still care about the affairs of your country? Or is it maybe that we are patriotic in different ways than our ancestors, possibly even in ways that they would consider unpatriotic? There's just so much to explore here. It makes me so excited. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in reading on the subject, hit up the links in the sidebar. And I will see myself tomorrow. You just got hit by a semi. Bye!